All right, this is meal one. Had this at around half past two, according to my camera roll. So what we've got here is broccoli, seafood, fish, some sea bass fillets, I think. Yeah. It, it, was, it was tasting pretty nice. But I'd just say I'd like to improve in, in the terms of just eating earlier and also having more of a macronutrient ratio that I got the day before yesterday, which I'll show now. This is it right here. This is the macronutrient ratio that we're looking for, really, because this is not only satiating, but eating in this sort of way, a high protein way, means that I feel satiated for less, for less calories. And also the size is very big. I get to eat big meals and also eat fewer calories, which means that I would stay in a calorie deficit, which means that I'd further be able to fill that, what I've called and decided to describe as a prophecy that I'll have the skinny, skinny physique with abs by October, Halloween, by this Halloween. I'd at least have put on some muscle size, but I'm just not expecting to look like someone big with an amazing six pack abs physique. Everyone has abs, everyone does, but I mean like it's showing muscles are big as well. And you can see that the guy is a unit. I'm not expecting myself to be there, be to that point by Halloween, but I would like to be at that point uh, of uh, like skinny, at least a little bit skinny with a bit of muscle and six and six packs booming because that's what I've visualized by Halloween. So in order to get that, this is the way that I've got to eat instead of eating more in a more equal macronutrient way with like 30, 30, 30, 33, one third in each um, ratio. By each ratio, sorry, just to clarify, I mean each macronutrient, so protein, carbs and fats, as you can see here. I ate in a more like 33% for each macronutrient today than compared to Friday. But I want how I prefer to eat in a way like how I did on Friday than I did today. And I know... How to do that? I've got to go supermarket, sh supermarket shopping. So, um, I'll I'll get on with that tomorrow. I think of, I'll visualize myself doing this, and then, yeah, that'll be me me sorted and done. Okay, meal two, jollof rice, some mixed veg and some beef lamb, and then some chicken bites that I put on the uh, that you can see on the right. Now I didn't know what it was I, uh, I didn't get I didn't scan the meat my mum cooked which is uh, the large pieces of meat so I didn't really know what to call it as truthfully which you'll see in the dinner section if I'm not mistaken why I put jollof rice I, I, mate, I didn't have the bag to be able to scan it and know what it actually was. But I know for one thing for sure that I, in the past, I'd usually just eat that, no problem. But this time, this time was different. This time I was picking at it. I was picking at that meat that my mum cooked. I didn't like the texture of it. It was slimy because of the fats. It was much more of a fatty meat than the chicken bites that I made, the chicken breast bites that I made, which I put curry powder and all-purpose seasoning on. The rice tasted... It, right, the rice tasted quite soft, to be fair. And I ate quite a lot of it with the logic of I need to eat calories-wise, or otherwise I would have under-eaten. So I... I had that food instead of having a wrap. I think I may genuinely need quite a bit more variety than what I've been giving myself just to make it easier 
to want to carry on sticking to eating in a healthier way. Because eating the same meals over and over and over again can get very, very boring. But if I have the same macronutrient ratios, the same calories, and I'm not eating unhealthy foods, I don't see a problem with that. I learn how to cook all these sorts of things like um, jollof. I have in the past uh, um, cooked it with my mum, but I haven't done that recently. So this is a skill I've I may have I may have lost. But if I if I do it over and over again, it won't be tough to to relearn what I've already learned and to strengthen that mental pathway of how to cook food. Amaz that like jollof. It would be an amazing food to cook. If I was seeing a chick and we we're thinking and we we're thinking of eating in, having something homemade. That would be. I think cooking that would mean, like, I'm setting myself above. Other options that she may think of, wanting to go to. Strictly just based off the fact that I can cook. And it seems like girls like. It seems like girls like. Not necessarily guys that can cook. But people that can cook. And cooking in general. It seems like girls can really like that. So. That in, in a dating sense. Could also mean that. I'm putting myself in a. Much more sexually attractive position or much more sexually I'm making myself a much more sexually desirable person slash mate by learning how to cook these tasty meals yeah maybe maybe and just for me to be able to switch things up it'd be quite nice to be able to cook such things and know how to bake in that yeah I've always wanted to learn how to bake brownies and flapjacks for quite a while because one of my sisters could bake flapjacks and I really like them. So I think I'd really want to learn how to bake as well. Just how just how to cook all these sorts of different meals, but that'll come over over time as I'm putting in the action for that to be able to happen and I increase my cooking vocabulary. I think it's about time I increase my cooking vocabulary because things aren't so not so interesting anymore by that i mean i'm just i've been cooking the same sort of meals like wraps eggs chicken frying a chicken putting it curry powder on all-purpose seasoning these sorts of things i've been doing over and over and over and over and over again for a while and i think it's about time i change things up to have the same macronutrient ratios but to have the same uh, macronutrient ratios and to eat healthy still, but just to change things up to make things more interesting, increase my cooking vocabulary, because that not only means that I make things interesting for myself, but that would also make me more sexually attractive by being able to cook these tasty dishes. Yeah. And I certainly have thought about increasing as you can probably tell my cooking vocabulary and making things more tasty for dating for the chicks yeah I might just yeah so we'll, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes and to just keep on improving what I can cook really change things up in my head I was just thinking of what sort of girl want the same meals over and over and over again but that said any chicks any girls I'm dating they've got to know how to cook their goddamn selves as well can't be no chick that making ready-made meals 
from Tesco or something. Like, no, 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 no. It reminds me of someone, but uh, it reminds me of it reminds me of someone in particular. Can't go any further than that for anonymity purposes. But yeah, I'll really work on improving my cooking vocabulary sooner or later. Things will just get too boring if I don't, probably, sooner or later. So um, that's the plan. Maybe as I eventually go out and start seeing girls, then that will naturally happen. We start cooking and baking together and just make things very interesting. Yeah. But anyway, I think I'm done. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something valuable. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I think I may do this sort of format for meal tracking videos from now on. It's just so that there's actually an understanding of when I ate my meals and what the meals are. Instead of it just being images. Because I'm not doing these meal photos live anymore. So it actually makes more sense to review them in this style than giving the times and every, giving the description of the food in the uh, every title as I go and take pictures and upload live throughout the day. I like this style because it means I'm actually reviewing. I, in fact, prefer, that's what I'm trying to say, I prefer this style over just taking photos live because with photos, you can't explain what you think and what you mean unless you're making a voiceover like how I am, how I am right now. If it's just a photo, you can't explain your thoughts like, did you enjoy the food? Did you think it was tasty? Was it completely cooked, for example? Um, yeah, the chicken that I had could have been cooked a bit more because it, um, it was a bit soft. But that's okay. Next time, there's always next time. But it wasn't completely raw, that's for sure. But it was a bit soft. It was a bit soft and a bit watery on the inside. But and this is for meal two, by the way, with the jollof. And, and the chicken bites that I made but that's okay there's always next time I can just keep them on for longer but it looked from the outside it looked like they were burning so I took them off the fire but anyway yeah I'm I'm done I prefer this style of video in terms of meal tracking I'm gonna voice these over from now on but anyway I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something valuable and I'll see you in the next one peace oh by the way I've got to tell you what my thing is right now how many liters of water i've drunk i'm gonna get that information now i didn't actually explain that in the my fitness pal stats today but i'll i'll get them up now i'll calculate it i mean sorry i've got a tally and i'll just add all of these up on my fitness pal and then give the final results i've underestimated the bottle to be to be able to contain 650 milliliters and i've done the calculation i've added up the tallies i've got six tallies worth of how many bottles of water how many bottles worth of water I've drunk and the answers come up to 3.9 liters and I plan to drink at least one more today to get to that 4.5 liter slash gallon mark because that's the minimum point that I'm setting for myself in order for me to stay hydrated throughout the day but yeah that's that's it could be more but that's an improvement from yesterday I'd say this is an improvement from yesterday because I was thinking of this aim today of getting 4.5 litres a lot more than I was yesterday and being able to actually stay on track with staying hydrated throughout the day more than I was yesterday in that sense of getting that specific amount of water. The 4.5 litres is just a bare minimum. I don't mind drinking more than that but at the same time I just drink, just stay hydrated, not overdo it, not underdo it. But um, yeah, I want to get on with that. I'm certainly going to drink more than I have now, though, that's for sure. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. hope you learned something valuable. I certainly have. I'm going to do these voiceovers for the meal tracking series from now on. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.